Let's have a look at the tool Kivix. It is uh, very interesting for offline content, educational content, which you can access to without being connected to internet. Labdo tries to equip the laptops sent to projects and schools with the best content for the recipient in English, French, Spanish, German, etc. But um, of course we cannot put the whole internet on the laptop so we have to select what we think might be useful for schools or projects. But you are able to add more content if you want when you are interneted in connected to internet and you open all files and you will see hundreds and hundreds of wikis which you can download but please mind the size of your hard disk um, it is not possible to keep everything locally you will see here some pre-installed uh, wikis maybe you know already the wikipedia for schools which we used since many many years in the labdo project um, it is um, a selection for schools but uh, you will also find many other informations um, open educational resources for schools and so on we have another way to spread this content in a school there is an option called local kiwi server if you start that then you will get a link an internet connection which allows tablets and mobile phones to get connected to such laptop so you can spread this content to to several other devices and pupils can read the content of this um, Kivix server without um, having Kivix installed on such devices. It's a very useful function and uh, you can stop that of course. And you can print content, you can uh, make other settings if you want, but um, one hint when you download content as user labdo as teacher uh, then the other user student is not aware automatically of such new content you have to open uh, the folder and the path is labdo public kivix wikis and here you see zim zim at the end and metaphor at the end and uh, they belong together but for you interesting is the sim uh, file and if there is a new one just m double click on it it opens uh, when you are logged in as user student and then kivix is aware for this user that there is a new content only the user downloading new content uh, has it in his um, content list if uh, another user is sharing the same uh, folder, then you have to proceed as explained a few seconds ago. So we wish you much fun and success learning and reading with uh, Kivix and see you soon. Here is another uh, information about Kivix when you open Firefox you will find the Kivix plugin pre-installed and this allows you to access the Kivix content even by a Firefox browser so when you open the browse button you will see the content in the past lab do public Kivix wikis and for instance if you open the Wikipedia for schools you will find all this information here and you can now surf, read um, as if you would use the Kivix tool itself but this is now within the browser. Thank you.